Wyoming and I'm gonna go see Devil's Tower real fast because it's getting late. <laughs> I am in Wyoming. We're having a little walk. It's very, very hot. Right, Franklin? I've been carrying Franklin. And we're gonna look at the alpacas right here. Oh my God, they're so cool. Come here, Franklin. Look how cute. A little alpaca farm next door to my Airbnb. Bighorn National Forest. Beautiful views and I'm headed up there. <laughs> oh, it's so pretty. Well, that is pretty fucking high. Also, I'm driving right into a freaking storm and I want to hike. Like, what the hell? <laughs> and actual mountains and then my car wow I'm the only one here it's cold well I'm pretty sure I could make this in my Toyota but because my car is packed full I'm not sure I'm not gonna really risk it today um, so I left my car there and Franklin's inside he doesn't like rain, so I'm gonna go and see how far I can get to this place. Oh, I couldn't have even driven much farther anyway. Well, I changed into my raincoat. Um, I'm gonna see how far I can get. But it's pretty, it's a gorgeous walk, but the problem is <laughs> um, rain, bears, um, more rain. And I don't like this hood because I'm limited in my visibility for bears. So I'm going to see if I, if I'm not feeling too good about it, I'm going to turn around, but I'm going to try and see how far I can get. So, um, I didn't make it to the top because I came across some, either it was coyote poop or bear poop, um, and I said, no, that's not going to happen. Um, so, I'm just going to drive and see if there's cement other sites, and it's raining pretty hard, like you can see. Um, how much it's raining and it's just not worth it for me to go see a site that might have a bear in it around and with the uh, hood on my jacket I have limited visibility so that's even worse so I choose life today and I am going to go to a different place see what's on the other side of this hill right here but I just love this little baby forest still so rainy, but it's so pretty here. I just love it in the middle of this tiny forest. Ooh, there's that view. Beautiful. Staying at this beautiful Airbnb horse farm yet again. <laughs> oh, I got 
got a hot tub again. I just am so blessed and so lucky to be able to find these amazing places. Look at this beauty. Wow. Hey, come on here. I just love when horses want to come up and say hi to you. Hey, you. Oh, who's the gorgeous girl? Who's the beautiful girl here that we've got? Yeah, wow. You are a big girl. You are gorgeous. Look at this. This incredible Wyoming countryside. Wow. And this is the Bighorn Equestrian Camp or whatever. And look at these guys playing polo down here. Oh my God, what a cool view. Well, it's raining again. <laughs> and I'm gonna go on another hike. Yay. Uh, there's thunder and all kinds of stuff. So I just wanna go, I don't know. I might make it, I might not. Franklin's not having it, um, but we're gonna go and let's see how it is. So I've got my knife and I've got my gun and my hiking boots. All right, so yet again, there's thunder, it might rain. I've got my raincoat. Um, I don't really know, like it's ice caves. There's supposed to be ice caves on this trail. Um, just want to do some hiking and in, in nature and uh, I guess we'll have to figure out what happens but there's some water here so I'm gonna go check out the, the lake or the river and see Beautiful. Wow. love how there's an upper and a lower trail um, I was kind of heading that way, but there's this trail by the river, too. And the mountains, it's just really beautiful here. I'm walking back. I just don't like leaving Franklin alone in the car. And it's a beautiful, it's not even hot. It's 66 degrees. It's got a little bit of windows down. The sun just came out. So I just want to go back and check on him. I know he's just chilling in the car, but I don't like to leave him alone for that long. I wish he would have come though, because he hates rain and he saw that it was raining. So he stayed in the car, but it actually turned out to be a really beautiful walk. Look at these little guys. Oh, they're all running away. Oh, look at how cute they are in this field. <laughs> so adorable. Look at these mountains back here. Oh, it's just beautiful. And we've got the sunset, the car, it's lovely. And here's the sunset over the polo club and some more mountains. This is so pretty. Wow. I'm gonna make a little dinner at my beautiful Airbnb on this grill. With some vegetables, some steak, and some cheap pork for Franklin. <laughs> oh, 
my last day in Sheridan, Wyoming, before I go to a different part of Wyoming. I'm gonna just go hang out with some horses. It's been a crazy day for me mentally, but uh, you know, the best thing about dealing with stuff is when you, knowing that you're in the exact right place at the right time where you're meant to be, and I'm meant to be here in there with those guys. It's just been an amazing stay. <gasps> Hello. Oh, look who's here. It's the beauty. Woo. Doing some grilling outside again on this lovely horse farm. We've got grass-fed lamb, asparagus, and sweet potato. Perfect for your body and your diet. And makes you feel alive and vibrant and free and amazing, just how I feel every day. And then there's Franklin and <laughs> stuff. It's been a beautiful day. It's been a great day for me. This is Franklin's level of spoiled now. He gets a gourmet meal when I'm eating, lamb and asparagus and sweet potato, and he eats it laying down. <laughs> Cause this guy is like so spoiled. He just eats whatever I eat. He doesn't even eat normal dog food anymore. Oh, now I can see you. Yeah, bud. Now I can see you. Oh, you're a good boy. You have so many flies on you. So many flies. Such a pretty girl. I know you want to go out. You want to go out. You can't. I don't own you. You can't. You can't go out. 